Okay, so you've decided to get into graphic design and don't know where to start. But we're not going to lie, it can be intimidating. There seems to be about as many design applications as there are stars under the sky. Thankfully, you won't have to consult an astrologist to find the right app. In this video, we're going to be covering the best design software for beginners. And these are apps that either require little to no training or are valuable tools to learn early. We'll also rate each software on a scale of one to five stars. So newbie, welcome to the world of design. Welcome to Jurassic Park. First up is the old yet resilient Photoshop. This app doesn't need much of an introduction as Photoshop's been around since the 1990s and has pretty much become a verb. I mean, how many times have you looked at a doctored photo and said, hey, it looks photoshopped, or shopped, as the cool kids call it. How do you do, fellow kids? Photoshop is considered an industry standard for how versatile it has become. It can be used for graphic design, web design, publishing, and even animation and video. Mm -hmm. If you learn the many ins and outs of the program, it can be your one-stop shop for all things design. Of course, that is perhaps one of the biggest flaws of such a versatile program, Photoshop can do a lot, but that also means it takes more time to learn. The good news is that it doesn't take as much time as you might think. For ease of use, Photoshop has made some strong advancements to speed up common photo editing needs. You see, the smart technology placed in the app now makes it possible to make complex edits in mere seconds. Aspects like sky replacement and changing facial features can now be performed with just a few clicks. You're not gonna feel like George Jetson. You gotta have it up here to know how to start these things and stop them and start them again. Now let's talk price. The only major downside is that Photoshop is one of the more expensive design applications for being so unique. The cost is $20.99 a month for the program, but there are some solid alternatives. If you don't mind the lack of cloud storage space, you can get the program in the photography plan for $9.99 a month. If you only need the program for some simple photo edits on your mobile device, you can use Photoshop Express for free. And if you're only editing photos and don't want to pay a subscription fee, you can use Photoshop Elements for a one-time price of $100. You gotta think of Photoshop as an investment. The good kind, not the Wolf of Wall Street kind. Mm -hmm, with a common denominator. Mm -hmm. Photoshop is already used in a variety of industries. So if you're looking to jump on board a company to continue your graphic design career, it'd be worth your time to start with Photoshop. For having such value, Photoshop gets four and a half out of five stars. Now let's just say that you need to get some design done in a hurry. Look, there's no time to explain. You just need to get a YouTube thumbnail or social media advertisement now and don't have time to learn. Canva, that's the solution to this problem as it's one of the easiest design apps. Canva is software that's all about simplicity. There's no installation required as the app works right in your browser. There's no need to track down stock assets as Canva provides all of that. There's not even a need to pay as the program is free to use. It's free real estate. That's right. Canva costs absolutely nothing to use and you can use it inside your browser. The stuff that you can make in Canva can be used professionally as there are no restrictions, no watermarks. You also get access to literally thousands of templates graphics and photos to use in your projects. So even if you don't have any photos on hand, Canva, you got you covered. It's also incredibly easy to use. Canva requires little to no training with its drag and drop interface. The toolbars are easy enough to navigate that you don't need to spend hours learning how everything works. Just click, drag, transform, boop, you're done. And you're done. The other cool thing about Canva is its automation. Since Canva is used in your browser, it can easily export your projects anywhere online. This makes social media campaigns easy to create and push out from one program. But there must be a catch, right? Well, there is, <sighs> sorta. You see, Canva does have some limitations, like design resizing or background removal. If you wanna remove a background from a photo, you'll have to pay for a Canva Pro subscription. The subscription costs $12.99 a month, if it's just you, or $14.99 if you're using Canva with multiple users. The cost not only gives you access to more tools, but more assets as well. Remember the thousands of assets mentioned in the free version? Yeah, the Canva Pro bumps that up into millions. 
One million dollars. Canva comes highly recommended to beginners with little knowledge of design. It handles most of the grunt work if you don't feel like spending more than just a few minutes creating an advertisement or social media post. While it's not best suited for industry quality design, it is a handy piece of software for novices on a tight timeline and even tighter budgets. For being easy to use and free to use, Canva gets also a four and a half out of five stars. If it's free apps you're looking for, but closer to Photoshop, allow us to introduce you to GIMP. Oh, bring out the GIMP. No, no, not that kind of GIMP. Okay, well, look, it was kind of sort of named after that Pulp Fiction reference, but whew, another story. GIMP, the software, has been one of Photoshop's top competitors because of its similarities. It has all the same functions of photo manipulation, digital painting, and graphic design. The interface is also much simpler to use as it's much more open. But the biggest draw for the app is that it is free. It's free real estate. No, it's actually better than free. It's an open source application. And what this means is that when you graduate to feel more confident in coding, it is possible to retool the software any way you like. This format has led to many developers retooling the program with incredible customizations and automation add-ons for GIMP. Now, GIMP takes about as much time to learn as Photoshop. It's not as versatile, but it does come pretty close. Where it differs is in the resources and monetary investment. Namely, well, there is no monetary investment. It's free, right? There are also so many resources to take advantage of. GIMP's website is host to a number of tutorials and configurations perfect for beginners. Think of this as a solid starter program if you end up using Photoshop in the future. For being free and only taking some additional time to learn, GIMP gets four out of five stars. If you're seeking a design app more for drawing over photography, the Corel Draw is a great software choice. It's a vector-based design application that is great for creating artwork ready for print or layout ready for design. When you purchase it through the graphics suite, you'll also gain access to a browser-based version of the program a font manager, and two different photography apps. Now, hold on, it's a lot of apps, right? Well, thankfully, it doesn't cost that much. The price is only $16.58 a month for all of that. Compared to Photoshop's pricing, <laughs> that's a bargain. Corel Draw features a host of tools that make drawing with vector graphics easy. And if you need some photography edits to make as well, yeah, the suite can handle that too. And this is why Corel has remained such a long running app and why it is considered a professional piece of design software. The program does take some time to learn for its many functions of automated assets and collaboration tools. But that being said, it is all worth the time to learn as it can save you a lot of time during the design process. The only major limitation is that the program will only work on Windows computers. Keep this in mind when choosing the right app for drawing. And for these limitations, Corel gets three and a half out of five stars. If you're seeking a more detail-orientated design app, Adobe Illustrator is a good place to start. Unlike Photoshop, Illustrator only deals in vector artwork. Vector art is easier to create in Illustrator with the many tools and functions. It's also not as intricate as Photoshop and functions mostly for drawing artwork intended for print or web design. The many tools are also rather easy to use that you don't even need skills with a tablet pen. With enough practice, it'll be easy to impress your digital designs. Unlike Corel Draw, Illustrator works on both Windows and Mac computers, similar to Adobe's Photoshop. Also, like Photoshop, is the pricing. So let's just quickly talk cost. The software costs a monthly fee of $20.99 to use. Unfortunately, there is no cheaper alternative than this. Fortunately, the price pays not just for the app, but for cloud storage space, technical support, and a host of plugins to better suit your design needs. As for ease of use, Illustrator is best suited for those who want to get more into the technical side of design. This path can include package design, print materials, and website graphics. It's also way easier to create vector artwork than the raster-based art in Photoshop, since it can easily be performed with a mouse instead of a pen. And since Illustrator is just as much of an industry standard tool as Photoshop, it is worth the extra time learning. For its many functions, Illustrator gets four out of five stars. So to recap, here's how each piece of software stacks up. Photoshop is expensive, but good for industry standard work. Canva can be used for free 
and is easy to use, but has a few limitations in its free version. GIMP is free and can be customized, but takes some time to learn. Corel Draw comes with a lot of versatile options, but also takes a lot of getting used to and won't work on Mac computers. Illustrator is handy for vector design, but can't quite master the same raster artwork as Photoshop. Of all the applications, it's down to Photoshop and Canva as the best ones for beginners. If you've got the cash, go with Photoshop to jumpstart your design career. If you're just starting out and don't have the money yet, Canva can be a cheap way to get started right away. To check out all the software that we've covered, check out the links in the description of this video below. And that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe for more videos on design software. Thanks again so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.